Boris Johnson says the response to the coronavirus pandemic shows the UK is a fantastically strong institution. Speaking today on his first visit to Scotland since the general election, he promised to be a prime minister for every corner of the UK. But his trip comes as some polls suggest growing support for independence. There's also a significant gap between his approval ratings and those of Scotland's first minister, Nicola Sturgeon. Here's our Scotland editor, Sarah Smith. Boris Johnson is, he stresses, the Prime Minister for every corner of the United Kingdom. He's come all the way to Orkney to make that point. With crab fishermen in Stromnet Harbour, he's here to highlight what he calls the sheer might of the UK Union and his government's economic response to coronavirus. What I'm saying is that the Union is a fantastically strong uh, institution. It's helped our country uh, through thick and thin. Uh, it's very, very valuable in terms of the, uh, the support we've been able to give to everybody throughout all uh, corners of the, of the UK. Protesters who greeted the Prime Minister are demanding another independence referendum. Hey. Scottish wine, made from fruit, has been produced at this winery throughout the crisis. They've also had financial support from the UK government, but that's not something they feel they have to be particularly grateful for. I mean, we gave them the money first and they gave it back to us and then say, we have to say thanks. I mean, if we didn't have the UK, we would be keeping the money and we would have it to fund our own furlough scheme. Nicola Sturgeon accused the Prime Minister of crowing. Boris Johnson has every right to be on a campaign visit to Scotland today in his shoes. It's not how I would be choosing to spend my time given what we are facing right now um, and you know people can make up their own minds about these things um, and can make up their own minds about where they think the decisions that we're having to take right now are best taken but none of us should be crowing um, about this pandemic in a political sense is my my honest opinion perth is a city that voted to stay in the uk in 2014 but where support for the smp rose at the last election it is people in places like this the Prime Minister has to try to convince of the ongoing benefits of the union. For the last four months, people in Scotland have been watching Nicola Sturgeon making most of the day-to-day -day decisions on how to try and cope with coronavirus. Boris Johnson wants them to remember it's his government in Westminster that has the power to borrow the money that's been funding things like the job retention scheme and extra spending for the NHS. This gift shop in Perth had to remain closed for longer than it would have done in England, but says the guidance from the Scottish Government has at least been consistent. In particular, uh, guidance as to what we should and shouldn't be doing. All along, it, that has been something that I feel the Scottish Government has been fairly clear on. Um, it hasn't been confusing, whereas I feel the UK Government has given a lot of mixed messages. At RAF Lossiemouth in the north of Scotland, the Prime Minister thanked the military for their role in the COVID-19 response. One more reason he believes why the UK should remain united. He's clearly worried about polls suggesting rising support for independence, even though he insists there will not be another Scottish referendum. Sarah Smith, BBC News, Perth.